forecast in the sense like previous history sales uh, yes. all of uh, that okay i'll tell you i'll, I'll show you okay that question is there no what are the different types of mrp available like yeah yeah that question is there so here there is a separate tab called forecasting okay okay so i bet nobody will ask you okay because i did only one project okay you see here okay this is a forecasting tab. If you select the MRP type as forecast based planning VV, mm -hmm. you need to give some data here. Okay. Okay. So you see here uh, how many historical periods you want to take into consideration, how many mm -hmm. forecast you want to, you know, go in future based on 60 historical data. 60 months hmm. you're predict predicting for 12 months in future okay okay hey, there are uh, uh, periods for season you can man maintain okay if you have two seasons you can maintain two seasons if you're dividing a year into four seasons you can you can maintain four okay so uh then yeah then then you have some all you know, um, you know, alpha, beta, gamma factors, delta. Yeah. So when you change the selection procedures, your forecast values will change. Okay. You don't ask me why and how. Uh, no, I mm -hmm. think or something. I think alpha, beta. Sorry. I'm not sure. Statistics, uh, maths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There will be formulas. So. That's what in one of my project, I have actually uh, used the forecasting. Uh, what was the product at that time? Like uh, for it, what is an assembly. it is an assembly. assembly for, oh, uh, yeah, raw materials. Uh, uh, sorry, for the finished products, we have used uh, the forecasting. Why? Because, okay. Why? Because one of the consultants said, uh, we have forecasting view. Then business thought, okay, this is the forecasting. We definitely need this. And they stressed much. Uh, then, uh, you know, there were escalations that uh, that particular consultant has not provided the solution. Then they asked me uh, to pitch in. Then I joined the calls and asked, what is the issue? Then they said, how alpha, beta, gamma works? I said, what? Alpha, beta, gamma, okay. So I clearly told them that I have not used this particular thing because it is always a auto generated value. You don't give anything in the system. Okay. These are all predefined values. I have the formulas, very huge formulas. So this has this formula. I can explain what is alpha, beta, gamma, but how to use it's up to you. I will share the document on this. Okay. Then different alpha, beta, gamma, delta values, different output, you can use it. Then they said, okay. Then they dropped it. Then they oh. dropped the idea of forecasting because I told, okay, af after explaining all this, I said, we have a transaction called MD61 where we can forecast the values. Mm -hmm. That have... is PIR, no? Right, right. Mm -hmm. Then we have S&OP, Sales and Operation Procedure. So, mm. so there are multiple things we can, you know, uh, yeah. uh, forecast. Either the forecasting tab, it's a beautiful, uh, uh, you know, backend calculations, but we are not Einstein's to... Because you know, there's no clarity, so it's of no use. Yeah, because see, you need, you, nobody will be, you know, very good in uh, math, right? So only few people, right? So if you go and say... Um, Okay, modal selection. Okay, someone has changed very badly. So, so okay, just, I understood. Let's not. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just saying this because this is not important, but 
you need to know the fins okay they just ask what are the different types of uh, mrp and if suppose somebody is stressing on focus then we can just tell them like i have understood the small thing they just want to hear you speaking they're not right. interested in what you're speaking right so mm -hmm. here you can see your here you need to maintain your consumption values okay okay so uh, yeah this for this reason i'm i'm, I'm explaining this. so here you can maintain your consumption values okay okay then once you enter some values here then you'll get your forecast values for next year. Oh, okay. Okay. So, it depends on di different uh, uh, scenario, your output will get changed based on the material. So, consumption mass. value is an input and forecast value is an output. Right. So, for the first 12 months, you need to give your consumption. Then for next 12 months, system mm -hmm. will generate. Then the next 12 months, System will take the current consumption into consideration automatically. But PIRs are not like focus. PIRs are like goals. Like uh, I had worked in the steel plant industry. So they were like every year beginning, like uh, financial year starting, they'll uh, get a report. Okay. So in that uh, annual production would be given. Like they used to follow MTS. So, annual production would be given. So, it's like, uh, so everything is planned by the production team. Like, uh, when would be the uh, break, uh, shutdown happening and what, uh, which month what needs to be produced. It, it would be uh, divided proportionately uh, for 12 months. The annual uh, production value, production uh, which is required, that would be uh, divided uh, proportionally in 12 months and uh, uh, considering, in, like, I mean, including the shutdown uh, period also, I mean, the plants will shut down for some time for the maintenance activities. And then, uh, so that was the case, like, so PIRs were, uh, then we could easily enter the PIRs. The business used to provide us the PIRs and we can enter MDC 61, we can do the PIR setting setting up and then we can run the MRP. Very easy it was, like MTS is simple. And we used yeah. to use uh, strategy 40. So right. MTS always uh, is a fo forecast. Yeah, so MTO is purely from sales order. So, yes. yeah, let's go to, so this is about forecasting view, okay? So, you will give values in consumption, you will get it in the forecast. And don't go deep uh, because no one will ask you anything. Uh, you can just tell them that we have. No, so, actually what you told me, right, MRP1 and MRP2 are more towards purchasing thing and procurement thing and uh, that is actually what they expect. They just ask you what is, uh, what are the fields in MRP1, MRP2, and why is it important? That is that is what they're expecting, actually. Nothing more. Um, yeah, yeah. MRP4. Uh, so, MRP1 and MRP2, it is procurement more, major, major. Major in it. Uh, okay. Major, major in procurement. Yeah. And this is more towards production. Right. So, yeah. Um... Mm -hmm. Okay, time phased planning. Yeah, no one will use. Don't worry. Uh, so you just need to know only PD, uh, ND, uh, reorder point. Usually, people usually you will get only uh, this. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, so MRP controller. Controller, as I said, you know, MRP controller is the one who take care of all the MRP groups. Okay. okay. I mean, take care of MRP groups. One MRP controller can take care of multiple groups. Okay. Okay. And multiple materials. So, yeah, you can, you, this is a mandatory field. So, mm -hmm. if you're not using MRP group, you can go with MRP controller. Or both. Okay. So okay, okay. There is one mistake. Like um, when people ask, "What does MRP control do?" Many people say it controls MRP. He that person controls MRP. He, basically, he controls the MRP of that particular MRP group, right? Like maybe it is multiple groups, but 
that's what it does right will mrp of plan. material Will plan. or mrp groups it will plan okay yeah mrp group is nothing but we are combining the materials which are you know it is a one one uh, div division of materials for mrp okay correct yeah mrp controller is the one who actually controls the materials you know it can be directly mrp group or if there is no mrp group directly materials mrp controller uh, will plan the material okay mrp okay. group is nothing but a group of materials no 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 what i'm trying to say is mrp controller would plan a material group or materials like depending right. if material right. uh, sorry but not material group mrp group or, right. or materials whichever right. is available like right. 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 yeah mm -hmm. so yeah uh, next is uh, this is also for reporting purpose okay now next comes lot size processor so lot sizing processor is very important so ex lot for lot so what is lot for lot lot for lot quantity is nothing but now you have a requirement of 11 pieces and then you have a requirement of 14 pieces and then you have a requirement of 100 pieces okay what system will do it will create three orders for 11 14 and 100 it's lot by lot Right, so that is uh, you know if if you, if it it will not club anything, it will not do anything. Simply, whatever is your independent demand, it will create order independently. Okay. Okay. So next comes uh, fixing. So fixing quantity is nothing but if you give hundred as your fixed quantity. You are talking about FX or FS? We will use only FX. FX, okay. Yeah. So fixed quantity, when you when you take fixed quantity, okay, mm -hmm. system will ask to give you the fixed lot size here. Oh, fixed lot size, exactly, yeah. Enter. Now you see, it said, enter the fixed lot size. I gave 50. So what will it does? Even for procured or produced, so usually... This will be for procure for produced material. So what it will do now? Your requirement is twenty, okay. Um, but the fixed lot size will is fifty, so it generates order for fifty. Now your required quantity is hundred. Okay, it will create two orders, fifty fifty. Yeah. So it's the fixed order. What is the pro and like what is the advantage or disadvantage? Like advantages, I, I mean, what could be the advantage and disadvantage of fixed? Yeah, fixed lot says advantage is nothing but uh, when you know you, you, if you are manufacturing something in set, okay, or group, okay, okay, let's say you are manufacturing a box, someone will come and say, Hey, I want 10 boxes. Okay, to, to prepare 10 boxes, you need 100 minutes. But in that 100 minutes, you will produce 50 quantity. So, you make that 50, give him 10 and store that 40. Is it mostly used in repetitive industry then? It can be in anywhere, you know, in even pharmaceutical, they will use, they will say, I will prepare any lot with 6,000 kg only. Okay, you come and say, I want 3,000, I cannot do it because my tank capacity Let's say, for example, you know, uh, my tank my tank can processing tank can store six thousand kg, but you are asking only thousand kg, which I cannot do. That's business decision whether they will do it or not. How they do? But I'm just. It can it. lead to overproduction also, right? Like. Um, it depends on the planning. Okay. How you plan? Because you know, what usually. People will not process, you know, uh, partially. Okay. So, sorry, last, what did you say? Partially, partially. Partially, okay. Yeah, they will plan only when 
I mean, they will see maximum utilization of machine and manpower. They not yes. say, okay, they have 6,000 kg is the maximum capacity of the tank, processing tank. And you mm -hmm. come and ask 500 kg, they'll say either to wait or they'll start a production for 6,000. They will not say, okay, I'll give you 5,000, I'll start the mission for you. Right? Sales team will come and ask, hey, I want 500 kg immediately. They'll say, wait. They'll see their production maximum efficiency. There might be many reasons. See, business, when we say, Business will not ask uh, uh, because I'm just telling you, you don't need to explain all this stuff to business. You can simply say we have a lot sizing processor called FX where it is a fixed lot size and you are, uh, you know, purchase equations or planned orders. Will Actually, be what there. you said currently, business would be saying like we have this much and right, we right. need this much yeah. and we will just give you a solution. Okay, Correct. there is something like this in SAP Correct. and you can Correct. use this. Correct. That's what I'm saying. This is for your understanding. I'm explaining you. Yeah, yeah I understand. But usually business will say, hey, I, I got this issue. Uh, I don't want my production order to be less than 500. I want anything to be 500. Then you say, okay, come. You have a field here. Uh, fix your lot says you 500 there. So you see all your demand multiplied by 500. If it is 3,200, you will get, you know, seven orders, which will be total of 3,500, but it will be all order for every 500. So that's how you need to explain them. Okay. Yes. Now, very, very important. Material master data is the base, you know, you, you should not, you know, neglect. So replenish, replenish to maximum stock level. Someone has changed. Okay. So, replenish to Arigha, We have HB is uh, replenish to maximum stock level, not H1. It is right. HB. Right. So, so, it is nothing but you are replenishing to maximum stock level. Okay. In, in the example, I have told, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, monthly lot says. Okay. What is monthly lot says? So, when I say monthly lot says, and system will uh, say, okay. Fixed lot says reset since unnecessary for this processor. Okay, enter. Now it will make the 50 disappear <laughs> because it's a monthly lot says. So, what is monthly lot says? Someone will say, okay, I will gender, I will, you know, process or I will create one order for the requirement that is coming up for the whole month at one shot. Okay. Now, 1st of June, there is 100 quantity. 9th of June, there is 300. 20th, there is 500. And 30th, there is 2000. So, if I use a monthly lot size, system will combine all the data and it will generate a planned order purchase equation. Okay. It will consolidate one month. How is it, uh, how is it different from lot to lot and uh, monthly lot size and lot to lot? How to how is it different like EX and yeah. lot to that's what I'm saying. Lot to lot, it will generate if you have three requests, you get three orders. Correct. Monthly lot says you same scenario, you have three orders. Sorry, you have three requests, but your production order will be only one. It will consolidate all the three quantities and create one order. Whereas in lot for lot, whatever comes, that is your order. You okay, have... So when we, uh, okay, just one uh, doubt I had, like when we are setting up the PIR, uh, what I was thinking was when they are giving me a 12 months, uh, this thing, uh, what do you call the yeah, goals yeah. or the estimates for uh, each month, Hmm. Okay, so uh, we set up the PIR at once only or is it like monthly we have to do it? How is it? You mean to say now? Uh, from... Like we, I have the data with me uh, from uh, April till next March. Hmm. Okay, so I have the data. I The production team has discussed, business has discussed and they know what to produce each month. MTS1, I'm saying. So, but at the when in the SAP system, when I am uh, doing the MD61, I am uh, setting up the PIRs. At that time, should I enter all the for all 12 months at once, or should I 
like do it one at one month at a time or how 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 do i set it up yeah so again um, you know you can give a forecast of one year or two mm -hmm. years okay either daily lot size weekly lot size or monthly lot size forecast you can give if you maintain no, because what you are trying to say is like if i am giving monthly lot size and i am giving i am setting up the pr for 12 months so uh, only one production order would be created per month per month sorry per month oh. right if i have two months lot size it will consolidate all the request for two months and it will generate one order for two months you don't see two orders for two uh, you know you, you don't see more than one order if you use two months lot size in that two months you know uh, i think we are missing one point like suppose okay let yeah, me, me can you open an excel sheet or something i'll i'll i would like to explain something or can i share the screen no problem okay so what i'm trying to say is uh, suppose we have from april till or let's take from jan to december okay we have the data with us. Jan. Do you write Jan? Jan, Feb. Oh, uh, could you write in the row only, same row? Okay, so till December we have. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, then uh, suppose we have values now 10, 20, 30, 40, 90 till, uh, till 120. Okay. 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 120 is there. Then what I am trying to understand is lot size, you said there would be 12 production orders. Okay. When MRP is running. Okay. Mm -hmm. Suppose the stock is zero initially. Right. The uh, month of June, uh, sorry, January, uh, production stock was zero. So when we run the MRP for the first time, mm -hmm. at that time, uh, 12 production orders would be created. That's what you're saying. Lot to lot size EX. Uh, correct. Correct. Okay. And for, uh, suppose if it's a M2 monthly lot size, then only one, uh, this thing would be created production order would be created with uh, how, what would be the quantity like stock uh, uh, required stock uh, it would be uh, 10 plus 20 plus 30 plus like that or no 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 no, no. one month uh -huh. size lot uh -huh. for lot you got it in this example uh -huh. beautiful. Uh -huh. okay yes. now what if i say that in the month of january okay, mm -hmm. i will not upload monthly forecast okay I'll upload weekly forecast. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> week one, week two, week three, week four. 10, 20, 30. Okay, but uh, that is also up to business, no? Either, either it is running weekly or monthly once MRP. No, no, no. One second. So, here, you took a good example of a monthly lot size. Okay? Hmm. This monthly lot size we will upload in a transaction called MD61. You know that. Yeah. So we can apply, we can up, uh, upload daily, weekly, monthly. Okay. So I will upload weekly. Okay. Okay. In oh, your okay. Understood, understood, understood. Like okay. it's like so, Jan, first week, second week, third week. Right. right. So I'll say this Jan. Okay. Okay, now the same 10, I will divide 2, 2, 3, hmm. 5, 1, hmm. uh, and 4, right? Yes. So in this example, in this example, if my lot size is a EX, then I will have 4 orders 
one with two, one with three, one with four, one with one quantity. Okay. Yes. Got in it. this in the same example, I use a monthly lot size. Then I'll get only one one order production order with, with ten. 10 Okay, okay, understood. Now I understand. If I see in, in this example, if I use a two month lot size, then I'll get only one order with 30 quantity. Two month. Ah, okay, okay. I can configure three months, I can configure I can configure four months, I can configure five months. It's up to me how how many uh, you know um month lot size I need. Right? Okay, but um, generally people use EX only, so it's fine. No, no, generally people will use monthly or two months or weekly lot sizes. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, because Depends. I had seen like EX they'll use, but they'll run MRP weekly. No, MRP will be run daily. No, is it compulsory? Because uh, I had one company where uh, they were running it on Sundays only. It's okay. That yeah, that's up that up, up to business. But yeah, once we explain MRP why MRP can be run daily, you know, we have uh, calendars where you know we can make system to generate watches equations only on that day, even the MRP runs today. So there are certain things we can run in MRP, but yeah, all in all, uh, this is the different lot sizing procedures. Okay, you can configure anything you want. You can configure one week lot size, two week lot size. So it will consolidate all the request from all the materials and it will generate the uh, purchase equation or planned order. Okay. Okay. So don't take one example. You can take multiple examples. Let's say, let's take a component is used in 10 different products. You okay. run MRP for the 10 different products. There, uh, they, the, the quantity for 10 different products for this component is different. One requires 2,000, one requires 15, one requires 45, one requires 3,000, one requires 8,000. And mm -hmm. on different, different dates, okay, eight orders, uh, which is spread uh, into, you know, one month. Like one component is required on 1st of June, of July. Uh, you know, for second order, the same component. Okay, in such situation, monthly lot size. Right. So you that. cannot have the same product going, you know, for the planner. He, he'll see one product. If you use lot for lot, he'll see the same purchase requisition 10 times for the month. Then he yeah. need to manually consolidate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of that, you can go with monthly, monthly lot, size. lot size. It will oh. consolidate all this request from different MRP products. Uh, I mean, different finished products. You'll get only one purchase equation. Yeah, understood. Right? So, you need to explain this to me. I mean, Okay, so this. the uh, place where I was saying, right, weekly once it is run, that was like a car, self-car, self-driving car, okay? So, and that also, it's a discrete uh, man, uh, industry. So, right. that's why I think, and it was a startup also. So, I don't think so much of manufacturing was going on. That's why MRP was like weekly once. Right, right. So there are different uh, 